This tutorial is going to show you how to buy shares and sell shares and even short stocks on TradingView from the charts. First thing to do is pop open this tab from the chart view here. We're looking at Apple on the daily chart. Open up this little drop down arrow at the top, pop it open. Just annoy the little finger right there, go full screen here. We're going to go, we want to choose the broker that we want to trade with. If you don't want to trade with one of your brokers, you can there click and connect and do that. You can also go and paper trade if you don't want to make any mistakes and risk any capital of your own. If you want to do that, click on paper trade, click connect. It'll go and give you a little warning. Just connect that in and you can get in here. There's no positions open yet. So what we want to do now is just minimize this window and we're into our chart. We can actually go ahead and start making some trades. So there's four different ways that you can trade inside your trading view panel. And the first one is the simplest, but not the easiest way. And the first way is the simplest, but maybe not the best way to do it. It's very kind of simple. Anywhere on the chart you want to click, right click your mouse. If I'm going to down here at 160 ish price, you can right click and you can say trade and you can say buy shares at 160 or sell shares at 160. You can do that. And by doing this, you're going to open up your order panel and you can fill it out and go through it. I'm going to do this in a second with you guys, showing you one other way to do this in the chart. If you go over here and we click on this little plus button, same kind of thing, 175 and change. We click, we can go ahead and say buy. We can say sell or create new order entirely and do the same thing. Those are the two ways you can trade from the chart. The other ways, number three and four, which are a little bit more kind of easier to kind of utilize and you have more control over. First one right here, you're going to go down here. We want to go down to DOM. And this is going to pop up what's known as your pricing ladder. You can go in there and you can use this to different and trade your trades and actually trade from here as well if you wanted to. You can place limit orders. And then again, you can place limit orders. And again, this is going to pop up your order tab. And this is kind of the holy grail of trading inside of trading. You is this little tab right here. Once you get familiar with this, and I'll show you how to get to it in a second, it's going to be the easiest, probably the best way to go ahead and trade. So we're just going to close this down and then show you number four. The best way that I like to trade is it's these two arrow buttons down here on the right side, up and down. It's going to pop open this arrow and you can actually trade from here with the chart beside you. So you're not kind of covering the chart up. You can just look in here and go buy. You can go sell. So buying would be buying shares, selling. If you don't have any in your account, we'll be shorting the market as well. And then you can go ahead and kind of define your price your take profit, your stop loss, all those things we're going to talk about in a second. But the easiest way to kind of maximize your efficiency is to use this and also use your position long or short in the chart as well. When you click on these long or short positions, they're going to give you an option to go in here and build out your own kind of portfolio of risk. If you buy here at this middle area, your potential profit, if it hits this top area, is $1,000. If it's down here, it's $700 for risk. You can adjust these and drag and adjust. And that's how you kind of identify quickly what you want your price targets to be based on this stock kind of bouncing around all these different limits. So you combine that with this order ticket, and then you have an idea of where you want to set your orders and your stops and your profits. Now, let's say for shits and giggles that we want to set this right around here where it's pulled back to recently at 177 and change. We want to have our stop, let's say down here in this range, tightened up actually, we're going to go right here. And then we want to have our profit at the top end of where Apple has recently been. So we're going to have a pretty tight stop and we want to get in around that 177.83 area. So our price, we're going to go 177.83. Right now we have some way to guide us on what we're trying to do. We want to make this a limit order, which is going to only fill when Apple's price goes down to 177.83. A market order gets you in at the current market price, wherever that may be, up or down a little bit from where it's currently trading. Limit order gives you the flexibility to pick your price and stop order. If it's on the downside, you're probably trying to stop out. It's, it's the same thing as a market order. Once it hits this area though, it's going to stop you and, and put in a market order once 177.83 is hit. So for this one, we want to go ahead and click limit order. 177.83, that's fine. Let's do 100 shares. Just because we're feeling nice today, we'll do 100 shares here. And then, you can take the take profit on. You can put the stop loss on. When you're doing this, we want to kind of build these out and just have areas of based on support and resistance on the chart where we want to have these areas kind of in. We can see here at the top area, we have this area at 185. So we're going to put this at 185 right now and build that in. 185. Stop loss, we have down there at 175 and change. So 175.70. Let's put that in. And let's we'll make that correction. So it's below our price. And then we can go ahead and we can put this time and force day, week, good till canceled month. Those are for our stop losses. If we want to have this kind of trade ongoing, we can say good till canceled and we can put that trade in and it'll be good till we actually go ahead and cancel it. We're going to put this buy limit order in. And now you can see those lines here. We've got our limit order, 100 shares. We've got our stop loss here at the bottom, which is in line with that red line here on the chart. 
we've got our take profit up here. We can see how much profit we'd make on our $717 with a nice move in the stock price, which also takes into account these areas here. We can now delete this and we can just leave those in there and they're in our account. If you pop this open again down here at the paper trading area, you can see your orders have gone in. You can see that you have your buy limit order right there. You see you have your sell stop loss and your take profit in there as well. And once these actually go through and go into trades, they will be in kind of filled trade area and they'll pop up in here and you'll have areas that are positions now in your account and they'll get fulfilled in here once it actually goes through and is accepted. If you make a mistake and you want to go back and you want to change one of these orders and you want to go ahead and make a, just a change in the chart, you can either go into the chart yourself and you can drag these around and they'll totally update once you click this modify order button. Maybe we want to drag these up and down and change them a little bit. We have to change one at a time, it looks like, or we can make a change in here as well on the fly. We can do that. So let's modify that and click that. So now they're modified and they have been changed and you can see that they tighten up here on the chart. But if you wanna just be able to drag them around and not have to click the modify button all the time, what you need to do is go ahead up to the chart here, remove myself, move myself down, click on the gear icon, go into trading and you wanna go ahead and just put on instant orders placement. And once this is clicked on, you'll be able to instantly kind of buy and sell and put those orders on without having to modify all the time. And it's going to allow you for faster trading within your chart in trading view. Let's go into our portfolio again. Let's just cancel these orders. Let's just click, take these off. Click, 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 boom. Those are gone. So they're all taken off. They're not even filled. So we're going to take them out of our account and go back to a fresh page. What we want to do instead, we can see these notifications here. Close those off. We want to short Apple this time. So if you want to short Apple, what we want to do, right? We want to go in here. We want to go sell. And maybe we want to sell short. Let's say, well, if you use our tool, if these are trusty short tool over here on the right-hand side, you can use our short position tool and put it on right. Let's put it on right here. And it's going to be the inverse of what we had before. The green zone is where you profit. The red zone is where you're going to lose money. And we're thinking that Apple is going to come back and go down a bit. So we're going to go down for our stop loss up there. We're going to say Apple is going to go on a run and kind of come back and fall down to this area here around 170. And we're looking to buy potentially when it pulls back to this area around, let's say, 179. Okay. So in our order tab here, we want to go limit order again. We want to go 179. And then we want to have our profit, right? Take profit. You always want to try to have a goal for where you're taking profit at. We want that to be at 170. And this is going to be lower again, because if the price goes down when you're short, and that's a good thing, when the price goes up, you're going to take a loss. We want to keep that loss nice and tight here at 182.75. And then again, good till canceled. We're going to put the sell order in. And that's how you short stock in trading view very quickly with a few clicks while also using your kind of long and short position tools in the chart to help you out and kind of guide you instead of just kind of making blind orders based on price. You can actually have an area of support resistance and put your profit and loss trades in there as well with your initial trade all in one. So my recommendation is to test these things out, get familiar with how they work, paper trade it for sure. And if you want to know more about how to set those long and short kind of tools here in TradingView and how you can use them to better zone in on your trades in areas where you want to take profit and loss. Make sure you check out the next video in this series. Thank you so much for watching this one. My name is Andrew. I greatly appreciate you being here, spending some time on the channel today, and I will catch you on the next one.